Okay. Oh, uh, hey, hey, everyone. Um. Oh. Uh, oh, hi, Kuramin here. Oh, hi, Ogazimas. Anyways, today we're in another Let's Play. Today we're gonna be playing Tales of Berseria. Uh, right after this, right last one, what happened? We took the ship and we went out to sea. And then next thing you know, we got invaded by some pirates. And then we pulled to land and everything. And then uh, the top pirate over there who wants to speak to us. Uh, he wants to, uh, yeah, he wants to join a friendship with us. And we're all down about it, I guess? I don't know, how are you feeling? What, what's your intentions, huh? What, I mean, what is your intentions, huh? Because I, I don't know your problem. I don't know your problem. But, uh, yeah. Uh, anyways, we're gonna jump up right into this. Speaking of hopping, here we go. What's up, girl? What's up, girl? And what are you folks planning anyway? Like I said, we're up, getting through that gate. If you're not helping us, then the conversation's over. Is it possible to get through? If the first mate says he'll do it, he'll do it. You should put a lot of faith in him. He's Moloch, isn't he? That doesn't matter. He's got the captain's blessing, and that's enough for us. Couldn't you ignore the Narrows and just sail around? Not now. We lost both our compass and several of our crew in an earlier attack. Compass? Huh. But in the end, we're pirates. If someone yeah. blocks our way, we can't just fall back. And that's what makes a pirate, huh? Yeah. The pirates share our goal. I don't think we have any choice but to band together. True enough! If forward lies destruction, and backward lies doom, sideways is your only option! And yet, you don't feel like helping out. I sure don't! That Moloch isn't all he seems. Who knows what's up his sleeves? The kid's a Moloch too. Hey boy, you sense anything? Hmm. <sighs> we both have ulterior motives. In any case... Let's go after him. I know you probably won't listen to me, but you shouldn't get involved with Eifried's pirates. Eifried is the fiercest, most villainous pirate in all the seas. Yeah. Every sailor trembles at his name. For a demon, you're pretty wimpy. Demon or not, scary is scary. So this Eifried is that tough? You bet. Rumor has it he's an unrepentant troublemaker and is as strong as an ogre. His gang are all fearless, wild rogues. They've turned the tables on the Royal Navy time and time again. And best of all is their ship, the Von Eltia. She's a legend that's traveled to distant lands across the sea. Nice. Sounds like I get along with them just fine. You seem to know an awful lot about them yourself. Well, it's just that every sailor dreams of being as wild and free as Eifried and his pirate crew. I guess. Hey, I can dream, can't I? Demon or human or even lizard, we all got our fantasies. Here we go! 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 Here we go!
victory is ours. Okay. We're uh, in here. Seventy-three. Yay. So, you've chosen to trust a pirate? Not for a second. But if you're prepared to lend us the use of your ship and crew until we reach the capital, we'll help you. Yeah. I'll agree to those terms. But there's something I should tell you first. I bring ill fortune to all those around me. The Reaper's Curse. I could flip this coin a thousand times and still land on tails. Trying to get through the fort cost the lives of five good sailors. If you join up with me, I can't guarantee your safety. Why would you go out of your way to warn us? Even demons don't want to meet an unfair death, right? If you still want me, just know the risks. Works for me. I land on tails, I'll flip it to heads on my own. Your name? Velvet. This is number two. Hmm. I'm Rokuro. A pleasure. Aizen. You've got a plan of attack, I'm sure. Let's hear it. To put it bluntly, Vortigern is impregnable. It won't fall to an attack whether by sea or by land. So, no plan? Wait, what about both at once? Exactly. First, we send in the Von Eltia to draw their fleet out of the Narrows. Then we slip inside and open the Seagate ourselves. The Von Eltia will then break away, and rush back into the channel. We'll climb aboard and push through. One slip and we're all as good as dead. Then don't slip and we're not dead. Walking with the Reaper, huh? The plan is already in motion. Yep. Let's move. This cave leads to the fortress. Bravo! Stop! These vines. Wow. They're too tangled to. I'm carrying some flint. Just burn through it. Do you really think this is a good place? Normally, no. But we're also demons and Malachim. Yeah. We are not a. Uh, 
Open sesame. Okay, cutscene. The kid's awfully quiet. You think yeah. maybe there's something wrong with him? Number two is always that way. Stop that. Calling him by a number is cruel. Savior. What's Rokuro mean? Oh, son number six, technically. Ah. Same thing then. Not even remotely. Uh. Uh. <laughs> you all right, kid? Earth magic. Why didn't you say something? If Aizen hadn't noticed in time, you'd be dead! Because you ordered me to keep my mouth shut. That's not what I meant! Why? Why would you do that? Whoa, take it easy, Velvet. Man. Let me guess, kid. You were bound by an exorcist? <sighs> I thought as much. The boy's will has been sealed away. Malachim have individual personalities, just like humans. But exorcists have developed methods to seal those personalities away, so they can use Malachim as uncomplaining tools. Will he always be like this? Can't say. I've never seen one escape the exorcist before. Listen, kid. If you're ever in trouble, speak up, okay? If I'm in trouble? Yeah. 99. I got 99 problems, but you know what ain't one. Ah. Oh, 
like a turtle over there. It's the turtleian. Turtle. Tied oh no, up. that's armadillo. Tied up. Are yeah, you that a turtle. turtle demon or something? No, no, you got it all wrong. I'm the white turtles. Sorry about spooking you, Zol. If you're not I'm a the demon, white then perhaps you're a Moloch. Nope, I'm just a plain old Toitles. Nothing more and nothing less. I'm sure you guys have lots of questions about me, but for now, I'd appreciate it if you could hold up on them. Uh, right. Sure, if you insist. Much obliged. The Turtles are traveling merchants of considerable savvy. Their services could be quite useful to members of the underworld like us. You don't say. Sounds handy. You betcha! And that old Toito sh we believe the customer's smile is what matters most. That being said, this being where it is, my prices unfortunately be a little on the high. Oh no, you're going to give us a bargain. I'd love to do that, Cease. But when you do business out in remote areas like this, the costs add up and, well... You're just taking advantage of the... Um, I can't entirely deny that, but... Then that settles it. You'll do business with us at market prices, and that's final. We should seal the deal with a smile, too, since it matters so much to him. Like this. <laughs> much obliged! Ah. Evil. Turtles! You should know how to drive a hard bargain, Velvet. What else was I supposed to do? Would you rather I devoured him and swiped all his stuff? You're more frightening than the Reaper. Still, that Turtles was an interesting guy. It's a big world, kid. A lot of strange folks out there. Yeah. So I'm discovering. <laughs> he probably took a look at us and thought the very same thing. Hmm. A demon, a Moloch, and a Reaper. We've got it all. Ain't that the truth? But, uh, yeah. Now all we need is the witch. Then we'd have a witch. Uh,. Forget that place, I'm just gonna go straight. Got it. Got it. Teleport. Unarmed? Hardly. These are deadly weapons. Huh. What'll it take to make you go all out? You don't need weapons when you got your fist. You already need weapons. You already have weapons that are equipped all the time. You just gotta learn not to let them break. But, yeah. Back outside? Let me take a look. I just wanna take a look. Ah! Okay, they're gone. Whatever.
Going up. Looks like Eifried's first mate has a strange superstition. It's just a hat. Only comes up tails anyway. What land did that coin come from? I've never seen a coin with a goddess on one side and the reaper on the other. Strictly speaking, that's not the reaper on the back. It's an image of the deep king, Daos. Where have I heard that name before? Martel the goddess. And Daos, the demon king. The Book of Ragnarok, Chapter 765. Of Idrisil. Uh, well read. The coin was dug up from some ancient ruins in another land. They called the place Carlin long ago. It's made from soft, ordinary gold, but they had some process to harden the metal and make it resistant to scratches. Wow, that's a rather well, rare find then. Do you like to read books? Teresa's chamber was full of them, so I spent a lot of time reading. Ragnarok is a record of battles from the Age of Myth. I've read it several times now. Yeah. Anyway, coins like that are hard to come by. Where did you get it? It's a long story. Never mind then. So, were you deciding something with that coin toss? Not anything I can talk about yet. Oh, I'm sorry for prying. No guard. Do we just go in? Yep. Wait. This isn't what I expected. There's a barrier over it? They changed yeah. the security. You weren't kidding, were you? That scorpion and this barrier? All part of your curse. 
You'll be lucky if that's the worst of it. Direct assault would be a bad idea. What's the plan? Down the cliff, there should be an entrance used during the fortress's construction. We'll check that. Yay. You did your research. I had to, didn't I? Bing, 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 bing. Blip. Blip. Bing. Uh. Blip. This one's actually guarded. Which means there's no barrier. Let's move, everyone. Yeah. Now. Stop. Those guards are... Careful. They're not what they see. Yep. Handle him. transformed into demons. What kind of curse is you wouldn't expect these guards to carry the demon blight. Is this your curse again? Probably. If I'd charged in, that might have turned ugly. Thank you for stopping me. Don't thank me. He's the one who noticed the danger. In that case, I'll be counting on you to keep watch. After all, we've got a Reaper with us. Who knows what else we'll find? Huh? She's saying it's all right to talk. Understood. Keeping watch. Excuse me. Ah. Ah. Excuse me. Oh. Hmm. Looks like there are demons inside as well. Don't tell me, Eisen. You're the source of demon blight. Nope. It's just our bad luck to be around when it's spread. This is what it means to walk with the Reaper. You've only yourselves to blame. It works in our favor. The enemy won't be capable of an organized response. And we're a small group. Our mobility will be an advantage in the chaos. Hmm. So, Aizen, how do we open the Sea Gate? The controls ought to be located in the upper part of the gate. We'll activate them and then send a signal. Got it. To the top of the gate, then. Nope. None of that. Nope. Not today. Whoa. I got some wine. Oh, I got some wine. Oh, we gonna have a good time tonight. I got some wine. This chick ain't even 21. She's 18, 19. She's not even 21. Is she? Is she? Whatever. Whatever. Hey, not all the ships left. A battleship. And not the good. Kids go out and kill at 16.
This door should lead to the gate. But it looks like they've got it locked up tight. Let me slap it. Well, brute force is out. Intruders! How dare you set foot in our domain! Where's the key? I am a proud knight of Midgand. I'm not about to yield to the likes of petty demons. Famous last words. There's nothing I hate more than someone else trying to control the direction of my life. My wheel is mine to hold. If I'm not the one steering the ship, then I'm not truly alive. The one steering. Indeed, and my entire life is devoted to the defense of this fortress. Then you better be ready to accept all that happens to you in the line of duty. Maybe it's time we found out just how deep your devotion truly goes. Take it easy. There's nine more fingers to go. Wait! The key is in the control room. It's through there! <sighs> One more question. Which way to the battleship? Straight ahead. Up the stairs. Got it. Oh. Well, I like it. thank you for handling that. It just comes naturally. We need that key, but we also need to take out the battleship before it sails against the Von Eltia. He's right. The control room or the docks? Which will it be? <sighs> Let's start searching. Okay. Hey, boy.
I wish I had power like that. I'd forget about it if I were you. Just as you, power comes with the curse. Everything comes with a curse. Whether it's a blessing. How do you plan to stop the battleship? It's equipped with large cannons. The plan is to use their gunpowder against them. The docks are up ahead. Like it or not, coming through. Hey, wait! Are you intruders? I suppose it doesn't matter. I will cut down any who sort with demon. Face the fury of the Rangetsu sword style! Stand aside, I... No, you stay back. I'll take care of this one. Sorry. This prey is mine. Get in my way and I'll kill you too. Are you mocking the Reaper? Time. The folks handle the ship. Careful, Rokuro. He's... I know. He's holding back. Let's go. Everyone has their own story. Where did you learn the Rangetsu style? I studied directly under the legged Shigure of the Abbey. Lies. <laughs> He'd never take on a student. Let me guess. He taught you a few things one time when he was super bored, and then crushed you with them. Done, Aizen. We're set. Yeah. It also serves as a good signal for the Von Eltia. <sighs> well, that was about the saddest practice I've ever had. But at least I learned where he is. Yo! The Abbey's my goal now, too. Now I can do what I have to do and repay my debt at the same time. Uh, is that your doing? What? Is there a problem? No. A fine companion for the Reaper. We 
We have to find that key. Let's get to the control room. Okay. Your compassion for me. Okay. Uh, fine. Door? Door. It won't open. It's locked from the inside. No. It's a real thick door, too. This must be the control room, right? That's my guess. Yep. We need another way in. That window would probably work if it wasn't all barred up. It looks like a standalone building. Maybe we can find something on one of the other walls. This seems to be the place. Let's split up and look for the key. Sweet. We'll search the other room. Yep. Ah! Aha! Found it. Don't get so worked up over a little thing like that. It's proof you're alive. The... the bump is? No. I'm talking about the pain. But... but I'm... 
scared of pain. Well, kid, who isn't? Even you? Anyway, boys sure are fascinated by the weirdest things. Fascinated? Yeah. You like this, right? I... I don't really know. But after I saw one in a book, I got a little curious about it, and I felt... You felt excited, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. I guess so. Do you know why the needle points north? Who figured out how to make it work? It made him I excited. I that if I had one of these, maybe I could go on adventures. It's exciting. When you feel that way, you should talk about it. About what you like and dislike. If you're happy or scared. After all, you're alive. I'm... alive. That's just my opinion, though. Not an order. Got that? Yeah. Understood. You found it? Now we can get that gate open. We yeah. needed a compass, too. Nice work. Oh. Thank you. Everything's ready. Let's get our gate on. <laughs> Alrighty. I promise I won't get mad if you talk. Okay. Okay. Whoa, hey! Move it or die! It's open. Oh. What was that? It's the Von Eltia telling us they're approaching. Hurry! All right. We'll pop the gate open for her. Quickly. All right. Quickly. Quick. All right. Bye. 
You'll be rust on my blade. So, this opens the gate. No. One side, yes. The gate has two giant doors side by side, with matching levers to open each. Makes sense. Yep. All right. Let's find the other device. Okay. You're fighting the Reaper. Let's go! No one! No one! No No Hardly. These are deadly weapons. Huh. What'll it take to make you go all out? Open. Let's meet up with the Von Eltia. Back to the docks. Yep. <coughs> I Are you? can't let you do that. This is my. This is my.
These arc scenes do a combo hit and are useful in extending combos once you reach the maximum. They are also grant soul upon use. Defeating a foe with a mystic arc. Great free with creatures. Fitness hot drop rate. Demon blood again. I call this an improvement. The The docks are swarming with demons. The Von Eltia will be overrun. Rats, we don't have long. Aizen, can you get them to go through without stopping? That keep them safe. But what about us? We'll jump down onto it as it goes past. Huh? Is there another option? Aizen, give some kind of sign. There's no need. The Von Eltia will sail through. Without an order? It was part of my plan. Welcome to the Freed Way. Ah. Wow. It's coming at full speed! Yep. Let's get a move then. Really work? Like Do you want the Reaper's reassurance? It's like laughing.
GG, Blast Gauge. Filling this Blast Gauge allows characters to unleash their hidden potentials and form Mystic Arts. A character who has learned Mystic Arts can perform by holding L2 with 3 or more BG during a combo. This can extend combo pass by an ordinary limit. Performing Break Souls is the best method of restoring BG. Art Counts. Ooh. Arts gain through star, through repeated use, the number of star, on an alternate use, influences the efficiency of title skills. Also, the amount of BG in a character receives at the beginning of combat is directly between proportional to the number of star between all of the character's arts. <sighs> Nicely done! You're not going to thank your savior for her crafty cannonballing? Are you nuts? I told you to stay away from the cannons, not bang on them. But it was fun! And everything worked out, right? I guess. I'm sorry. If it's that important to you, keep it safe. You wouldn't want to lose it again. Give it. I need... Fine. You read it for me, then. Yeah! But listen, kid. Give me one false reading, and you're shark bait. <gasps> Better work hard. Um... What's... Laffy said? <laughs> it's a name. Your name. My... My name? Luffy said. It's a fine name. Well, it's no Mogulu. We're through the channel. Give us a course, Luffy said. Aye, aye, sir. We're headed straight for Logris. Now this is refreshing, sailing into port like normal people. Well done, boy. The sharks are gonna go hungry tonight. Yes, I'm glad. Better. This won't be a problem, docking a pirate ship here. So, how were the northern seas, Aizen? Helavir are in ruins. Trade with Northgand will likely be disrupted for quite some time. Well, I like the sound of that. That's I'll have to act quickly. It. Any word of the captain? Aye. It's an old rumor. But they say Captain Eifried was sent to Titania. The island prison overseen by the Exorcist? We'll have to look into that. I registered your vessel as one of our merchantmen, same as always. But even so, stay on guard. There's a grand ceremony being held in Logris. Lots of watchful eyes about. I see. So they exchange information for Mooring. Information... for Mooring? Having the latest news gives merchants a chance to make favorable trades. So it's worth protecting a pirate. I bet Aizen and his crew yep. have connections like this in nearly every port. Not even the Abbey's Iron Decrees can withstand the force known as human greed. I see. Don't bother going to Titania. You won't find Eifried there. And how do you know that? Because I escaped from there. And before I did, I heard something from the prisoners. They said Eifried was the only prisoner to ever get out alive. And that he was taken by an old exorcist named Melchior. Lord Melchior is an elder legate at the Abbey. He should always be present at the headquarters. Don't call him Lord. 
Von Eifried's our captain. It's starting to look like his disappearance has connections with the highest levels of the Abbey. Their headquarters should be in the capital, right? Yes, at the Royal Villa in Logres. I've never been there, though. And Velvet. Your business is with a man in the capital, right? Looks like we're all headed to the same place. I won't apologize for involving you. Usually I'm the one who says that. <laughs> yeah. Agree. By the way, there's the little matter of your ship. My men brought her through the gate as well. We're going to use her as a scouting vessel. Do what you want. We stole it in the first place. A scouting vessel? I've assigned Benwick to her. He'll give you the details. Okay. Middle? No, Kitty. Loafer. Uh. No, thank you. Wind's kicking, and the tide's flowing, and we're stuck here. Then why not just set sail? Not going to happen. The Abbey hasn't given us permission yet. And we would need their permission, why? The Kingdom keeps a strict watch on harbors and sea routes. It's like they've erected walls and gates. Aha. Midgand is spread across a number of islands. The sea is the only way to get from one place to another. If they can control the ships, they can control the flow of people, goods, and even information. Exactly. They even created that fortress, Vortigern, to help them do just that. It's restrictive, but it's also necessary. Demons are out at sea too, and exorcists are the only ones who can stand against them. Even still, it rubs me the wrong way. A sea dog obeys nothing but the winds and the waves. Crabs are amazing, right? Oh yeah! They're delicious, boiled or grilled! Even their innards are yummy! And five sets of legs, that's so many! That's all true, but what really makes what? them amazing is their miraculous ability to regenerate. They can detach their own legs when a predator attacks, which lets them get away. It's called autotomy. And then, not long after they detach their leg, one grows from the stump. Really? So you're saying we need to catch lots of crabs, then scare them so they detach their own legs? That's exactly what I'm saying, bro. We can harvest as much as we like. No one's thought of this before. We're geniuses. Huh. I never knew that. I thought only lizards could regrow a lost body part, and only their tails. Lizards? Do you think Dial's tail can grow back? If it does, we can make a killing by selling Dial tails. Would they be... Tasty? <laughs> no idea. Ugh. No way. Have you heard? Marcus and his pirates were taken out by the Royal Navy. So, he even got Marcus's crew now. Of the four pirate kings who terrorize Midgan, <laughs> only Eifried and his crew remain. Aren't the seas still swarming with pirates? Only small fry that rob small civilian ships on the sly. But the only pirates left that can pick a fight with the Royal Navy again are Eifried and his crew. In other words, the only ship left that's truly free is the Von Eltia. For a merchant, you really seem to like these pirates. He may be crooked, but money's not all he's after. If profit was his only desire, he could have made more by selling us out. <laughs> That'd be too horrible, do you think? The fun's in making killing by breaking the rules. <laughs> You're a funny guy. 
And that's why Ifri goes through him whenever we need to dock here. Hmm. Well, I can't say I've ever met a human. Aizen told us to come see you. What's all this about a scouting ship? We're going to explore the outer seas. Oh, yeah. let me explain. Beyond the reaches of our kingdom lie vast, open oceans we call the all outer right, seas. Google, kitty, man. And you're going to explore them? What for? To make a map of the whole world, of course. A map of the whole world? Oh, you're missing a... That's yeah. right. Ifrit's pirates have many ambitions, Google, kitty, one man. of which is the creation of a complete map to Describing the whole world. In fact, the Von Eltius already sailed all the way to the far continent for that very reason. That's amazing. Much, you guys sure dream big. Still don't get it. Yeah, me neither. I'm not a bunch of places nobody cares about. Big deal. Well, regardless, if we're going to find anything in the vast waters, we'll need a lot of luck. We'd like to borrow some of yours. And just how do you plan on doing that? I want you to use your gut instincts to tell us where to look. In exchange, the Von Eltia will be at your service. And you can keep anything you find in our explorations. You'll be able to assign us new orders from any location by using a kind of messenger bird called a Sylph Jay. Who knows? We might even come across some good treasure. Or maybe some rare food. Or brand new recipes. Hmm. It's a lot of treasure you could find. Doesn't sound bad to me. It won't take much of our time, and besides, it could be interesting. You're yeah. right. Okay, as long as I'm not responsible for how things turn out, I guess I can help. All right, okay. then I'll tell you what you need to know. Oh, great. Expedition has been added to the menu. Try opening it now. Okay, dispatch. You can now send your child ships on voyages to explore the outer seas. You can initiate these expeditions via the dispatch command. Select the dispatch command. Next, choose an area to explore. The Lightman Sea. Explore areas are determined by your current exploration level, which is displayed on the upper right of your screen. Level 1. Now select the Lamb and Sea and begin the voyage. Yes. You want a special ship on the exploration mission? Yes. Yeah. Once you initiate the voyage, the screen will display the time remaining until your ship returns. Okay. Five minutes. That's not bad. Usually it's longer. Okay. Since this is your first time, the crew will break their backs to the like, fly home. Scout okay. ship setting sail. Cool. Take a look at this. Woohoo, take a look at this. When, when, I lose. Cool. To experience the amount of EXP and numbers of items found. Cool. Let's finish by sending the ship out one more expedition. Yes. The expedition is underway. This time the ship will take return to normal speed. Take the advantage of these expeditions to help you along in your adventure. So now we just okay. wait for news. Yep. Who knows what we'll find? A sunken ship full of treasure, maybe? Underwater maybe. ruins? Desert islands? No. New shipping lanes, perhaps. Some fish would be enough for me. Especially if they sleep well. My thoughts are exactly to another yellow tiller sturgeon! Oh, women who like to eat. Oh, God, women who like to eat.
Sir, scouts have reported seeing a powerful demon. Its danger level has been classified as Code Red. Understood. I'll notify the Abbey we have a Code Red demon in our midst. Send out an emergency alert to the neighboring areas. Right. With wild demons this close to the capital, the Abbey must have had its hands full. Aizen, what did he mean by a Code Red demon? It's like a most wanted for demons. From the latest I've heard, there's around 10 such demons across the territories. Oh, they sound pretty tough. It would be putting it lightly. Suffice it to say, you want to f one unprepared. Yeah. We'd best be prepared. Let's yeah. get going. While we're wasting time here, the Yabby is digging in. Yeah. Get going, boy. Encounters the battle. Oh, we're open world now. Okay. If you're initiated by battle and making contact with the enemy from behind, you will gain an adventurous encounter where you will start with one, one extra soul and the enemies will start with less HP. However, if the enemy hits you from behind, you will be forced to be, in other words, uh, you have a disadvantage. Encounters the battle. Contacting with two more enemies at the same time on the build effect. Initiate a perilous encounter which has the following effect. Uh, HP restoration is reduced by a quarter. Man. Clean takes four times as long. So in other words, if you get ambushed, you're SOL. But yeah, 